G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going again with this swipe using the Deco Art Extreme Sheen with the Bloom Pouring Medium. So my Bloom Pouring Medium is three parts of the untinted wall paint, one part of Joe Sonia's Gloss Varnish and one part of Polycrylic. And that's mixed two parts of the Pouring Medium to one part of the extreme sheen. I just need to get my piece of plastic. The one I used just before, I threw it in the sink. So there we go, that's this little one here. Now, I thought what would happen if I did a black background? And I was about to mix up some Artist Loft Black and some Floetrol and then I remembered I've got oh, this big can of black. It is a gloss. So, eh, I don't know. I'm just going to try it though because I've got it and um, I might as well use it, hey? So, I, I sort of gave it a bit of a shake as best as I could. And I'm just going to pour it out and see what happens. Hope for the best, hey? Ugh, it's going to need a stir. It is. Here's my little stirrer. See how it's kind of, you can see the different colours in there. You can see some white or grey or something. So that's telling me that it, oh, it smells. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you always have to stir your paint, don't you? I thought I could just give it a bit of a light shake, but uh-uh. Oh, I should have done this off camera. Put some muscle into it, woman. Oh, building up sweat here. It's such a hot day today. It's 34 degrees. I've got my air conditioner going. Flat chat. Sorry about this. I didn't realise it was going to need such a stirring. really thick. That'll do. I'll find somewhere to put this down and I'm going to go and rinse it out later. Right, -o, so that's my black. I'm just going to pour it on here. I'm going to use it as my pillow. As I said, I have no idea how it's going to perform. I'll make, it, I'll make it reasonably thick. That way if I do decide to, to tilt, I can. Oh, I'm making a mess. All right, I'll hammer that down later. Remind me to hammer it down. Okay. Well, that was a bit of an effort, wasn't it? Okay. That's just, oh, it's very thick. Thick and goopy. But if you're going to be tilting with this bloom recipe, whether it's a bloom or if it's a swipe, you do want your base coat to be nice and thick so that it your lacing slides well over the top. Oops, don't all run away. I need you on the other side. Why am I trying to do this with my fingers? Why? That's what palette knives are for, you silly woman. It's very thick, my gosh. Maybe it's because it's gloss. It's thicker than um, the white interior that I use for my pillow. Now I'm just gonna make this a nice even coat. Did I get all my edges? Have I missed anything? Might 
might as well do them now just in case I don't end up tilting but I tilted on the last one I was happy that I did but if you don't have a nice thick pillow there's no point tilting righto um, so I've got the copper extreme sheen two parts pouring medium one part copper with a little dash of extra varnish to thin it out this one was a little bit thinner I actually added a little blob of the deco art gold another one in the round tub the big round tub added a bit of that because that's a little bit thicker and then the black um, is the Amsterdam lamp with the pouring medium and now uh, added uh, actually quite, added quite a lot of um, the gloss varnish it's much thicker go figure um, I'm not gonna oh, no I'm not gonna do anything with the bubbles for all I know this is flammable I, I don't know right let's just get going with this so that's oh I haven't told you about my cell activator now the cell activator in the last pour was two parts Votrol, one part Amsterdam. This is, it was a little bit left, so I've just added to it and I've gone one to one. Equal parts of Floetrol to Amsterdam, white. So it's probably, I don't know, one and a half because there was a little bit still left in there at two to one. Right, oh my gosh, that was exhausting. Let's do this, hey? Put some copper down. And then I'm going to go with the black. Now, last time I used the decor or Dazzling Metallics in Black Pearl. It's more of a greyish, and especially with the white, I wasn't happy with it. So I'm just making up this little bit of black. See how it's pouring out differently? It must still be thicker. The copper just sort of went out smoothly. This kind of went out all wobbly. So the black must still be thicker. It left the same size mound. It's just a different paint, I guess. Righto, gold. And now we'll put the cell activator. Oh, that doesn't match there. Put the cell activator on top. Our flow troll. And then we can swipe. See what happens. Hopefully this will be really pretty. So this is a little bit thicker, this white. And I'm putting a reasonable amount on. So I want nice lacing. If you don't put enough on, by the time you've got to about here, all your white's gone and then down there's got nothing. So you've got no lacing down there. So I found you do need a reasonable amount of the white. There's my bit of paper towel. Got my plastic. So this, this bit of plastic just fits the whole area there. So yay. Now I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on. If I can, a little bit of downward pressure as I drag okay so over here I had too much white mm. so I've used that side and I'm going to turn it over and use the clean side but I'm going to just flip you around <clears throat> don't know why I'm going to do about all that white there I may actually have to swipe that twice Touch the white and drag. That's so pretty. <clears throat> the um, gold really stands out against that black background, whereas the previous one I had a white background. It just didn't stand out as much. Now I've got a big area of white there. I'm just going to go and find a little bit of plastic. The problem is now when I swipe this plastic, it's going to leave a line through the centre. But what can you do? Not much. Um, where's my bits of plastic? <clears throat> There's a smaller one. I've got different sizes already cut up, ready to go. I don't really want to do this, but I don't think I've got a choice, really. It's too much white there. And I'll go over the corner a little bit that I've missed as well. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now I've got a lot of white there. But it looks better there. All right, I'm going to leave that. Um, I'm going to tilt it a little bit and see what happens. The cells in the centre here, or the lacing, they're a little bit smaller than the previous one where the cell activator was thinner. So the cell activator is holding that lacing a little bit sort of closer, I guess. Oh, I do like that. Mm, I want to go, I want to do the same there. I do like that because you can actually see the copper coming through. I know it's not as pretty down here, but in here, oh, I don't know. Do I do it? Do I not do it? Can't really see the copper. You can see a little bit under there. The problem is, if I, I'm going to try and get that white, but I'm not going to be able to get all the white. I'm going to end up getting some of that gold as well. Look, I'm just going to leave it. Stop fiddling, hey. Yes. Now let's see. I'm going to actually just, what I'm going to do, let's try this corner first because this is the corner that I've stuffed up. Let's see if I can go to that corner first. My middle's moving. See the middle, the white, it's moving. The rest of it doesn't really want to move. I like to move it, move it. It doesn't really want to move, which means the middle is going to get really stretched out. So I just have to decide whether I'm going to go for it or whether I just leave it as is but I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it just see what happens with this see how it's all going oh it's all going out of shape now I'm chickening out it's all going out of shape you know what it is the black is too thick the black base coat is too thick so this paint is sliding over the top of it um, instead of the whole base moving together. I think that's what it's doing. Mm, no, I can't. I'm not going to because this middle section is just going to go like that and stretch out. Um, yeah, I don't think it's worth worth doing. So uh, this black base needs to be thinned with something. It's too thick. So I'll just leave it like that. That's still pretty though. Like it's not a fail by any means. It's still really pretty. But um, yeah, I learned something. <clears throat> Oh, I'm tempted to swipe again. That's really pretty. Have got enough paint left? What if I what if I do it again? Mm. What do you think? I'm so indecis indecisive today. It's just that I can you can hardly see any of the copper. That's all. And, and I don't like this, so this bugs me. I'm going to go again. I'm going to put some more paint down. I haven't got very much. I might put the copper on that side. Scrape it all out. And put the gold on kind of half this side, like that. 
and I wonder what will happen if I swipe with the black, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to put a little bit of black through the center. I'm making a mess. And then I'm going to put the white over the top. Not so much this time because it's thicker, hey? It's a thicker mix this time around. I'm just going to have to wipe my plastic because I... I've only got this one. I'll just give it a bit of a wipe. Oh, my white sunk. Come back, white. All right, let's just leave it. Let's just swipe and see what happens, hey? I'll try and get the white. But let's just see what happens. And get like a, a multi kind of a look happening, hey? little bit more white come on white there's not much left out you come come on out you come and play swipe quickly before it all disappears again oh I missed the corner so I've got one side that's got a little bit more gold on it and one half that's got a little bit more copper on it. And because, <laughs> because um, I've kind of swiped with the black as well there because it was all kind of mixed in together because I'm just at the stage, I just don't care, I'm just doing it again. Um, we've got that different look. And the same thing's happening with the centre. So I'm just going to leave it. What do you think? Bit different to the first one, hey? You guys probably like the first one better, do you? <laughs> it's always the way. I just, I was just experimenting. I like the black lacing. I'm just gonna give a bit of a torch, pop some bubbles. So I think I'm done. So the white, the white's not as dramatic because I was pulling the black over, which is not a cell enhancer. Um, so yeah, you can't expect that to really work as a cell enhancer, but I actually quite like that black lacing. So I'll take you down for a close up. So we've got one side that's copper, one side that's gold, a little bit of black and white here and there. So it's more just like a regular swipe really than, you know, the, the bloom swipe. I'll turn this light off. Again, will be really pretty once it's dried. Lacing is very delicate. 